Greetings, and welcome to another edition of AllHorseTalk.com. I'm your host, Alita Bunny Hendricks, and as I pan across my selection of items here today, you'll see that today's topic is grooming. Now, once in a while, I'll get a request from a friend who would like a topic uh, videoed or a video done on a particular topic, and this one was requested by my friend George in Australia. He requested it a few months ago, and it was uh, summertime in Australia, but wintertime here. I said, George, please give me some time, please. <laughs> May I do this in the spring in the U.S. so that I've got a little nicer uh, looking horse coat, hair coat to, to, to show you the grooming secrets on. So here it is. This is for you, George, in Australia. Uh, what we're looking at, we've got several items in the necessary kit for your grooming box. Um, I, here's hoof pick, curry comb, here's dandy brush, body brush, back off of that a little, main comb, water brush, this is a great example of a water brush and I'll explain that later, a rub rag, baby wipes, and there's also some hair uh, polish uh, that's not a required item. Some of these other items are things that are also in my kit, but they're not always essential, often very useful, but not always essential. These main items here are the ones that are completely essential, and I'll show you why in a bit. Let's talk a little bit about some of the finer details on these items first. I have two hoof picks here that I really like, um, and I'll show you why. This hoof pick is the one that I use most on an everyday basis. And this one was customized by my friend and my farrier, Bob McDonald. And Bob is featured on two, uh, a couple of other allhorsetalk.com videos. Bob ground this down to a nice little point. Not too sharp of a point. It's got a bit of a blunt end on it. but And this one's quite a nice hoof pick already. And this one's unaltered. The difference between those and often your, you know, your $1.99 garden variety is the point. Let me see if I can show the two of them together. And let's see. There we go. You can see the one on the right has quite a blunt end and the one that Bob customized for me. It started out pretty much like this other blue one down here on the ground with the lovely handle, but Bob ground it down a little bit for me. And the reason for that is so that you can get the deep creases and I'll show you how that works. Uh, I do like the brush feature on this less expensive garden variety of hoof pick. So I have a a brush. This is just a cleaning brush, like a tile cleaning brush that I use sometimes to clean out the crevices of the hoof. Next in by item. Again, back up. The hoof pick is the most important item in your kit. That's what you use first. Got to keep that horse, those horse's feet nice and clean and sound. Next important item <coughs> is the curry comb. Curry comb, um, I like this garden variety rubber curry comb. Sometimes you'll see a curry comb made in this configuration. It's made out of metal. That one is not made to use on the horse. So if you've got one of those, hang on to it because it's useful and I'll show you what for in a minute. But uh, don't use it on the horse. Use this particular kind. This one has a, a gentle uh, ridge to it. Not much. It's kind of smooth out. Depends on what your horse likes. This curry comb is also a good curry comb, but I don't know if you can see if it picks up on the video. There you go. It's quite worn out. And it had larger nubs. These are massaging nubs. They're not sharp teeth. Now, if this was a metal curry comb, those would be sharp teeth, and those would be painful on the horse's skin. But this old curry comb had ridges like the smaller one, and these are quite worn out. So this one's pretty tired. That's why that's here as an example. Now, this one's here as an example. If you see how tiny it is, I can't get my fat hand in there. This looks like I tried and split out the side here. This little curry comb is terrific if you're about six or eight years old. But for a large hand, especially if you've got a large horse, such as my equine partner, BJ, he's 16, three and then some, um, that's not going to curry him too quickly. So I really need a nice big curry comb. Now, some of these other products are terrific. They're very useful, um, but they're, they're useful for different purposes. This one, we have it in the kit. Not only can you use it in cleaning the, the horse, but you can use it to clean the brush. And I'll show you that later. But here's a brush, and you would hold the brush in one hand and 
scoot the curry comb across it like that to clean the, the dirt out of the, out of the brush. Because if you keep trying to brush a horse that's dirty with a brush that is dirty, um, you're not going to get too clean. So you want to continually clean your brush, and that's one of the major features of the curry comb. And that's why you need this particular type of curry comb or the metal variety you can use to clean the brushes with. These have good uses. These are different kinds of grooming tools that are massaging and they feel good for the horse. I love this one for shedding out um, horses in the early spring, late winter, early spring. And this is actually a dog, oops, this one's actually a dog grooming tool. You knit, you have two different sides and you can put your hands in it. It's very soothing. They love this side on their face with these little nubs. Here's another grooming tool. It has little nubs. These are harder than the uh, dog grooming mitt. This, the dog grooming mitt is one of my favorites. But this has this nice little brush side, which is nice on the face. This is a lovely um, massager for the face, very soft, very gentle. Here's another one that's also very soft and very gentle. And this one's big. This is good for shedding out as well. However, none of these other uh, combs <laughs> can clean the brush. That's this guy's job as well as cleaning the horse. So if you have one curry comb, get this one. The next brush that we use after we've used our curry is going to be the dandy brush. Now the dandy brush, I've got two examples here. The dandy brush is a long bristled brush and this dandy brush has a softer bristle. This would be for a horse that has more sensitive skin or perhaps there's not a whole lot of dirt on that horse or, or mud to be brushed away. If you're trying to brush away mud, caked mud after you've loosened it with a curry off of a horse, this one wouldn't be terribly effective, but this one would be better. This is kind of a medium stiff brush. Now being that I live in Florida, we don't have a problem with caked on mud. Um, if I did have a problem with caked on mud, I would have perhaps a brush that was even more stiff in the bristle. Now, this is my non-example, and why is this my non-example? Again, if I were six or eight years old, it would be fine, but you can see